What's up guys? Welcome back to Keto Rewind. Today is day one of the final week of the Keto Rewind Total Carb Challenge. If you've made it this far, far, we are in the home stretch of the Total Carb Challenge. So if you've made it this far, comment below and let me know. How are you liking things? Do you like this? I have a, a full week of delicious keto meals tracking total carbs. So we're going to start off today with making lunch, a new recipe I've not shown before. And also we're going to do a snack. We'll do dinner and then I'll meet you right back here to talk macros. So what do you say we get started? Okay, so the bread, if you will, is going to be a hard boiled egg. So I've made three piles of bacon because I'm going to make three sandwiches. And I have some boars and cheese and I have some guacamole. So I'm going to assemble three of the cutest little sandwiches that you ever see. So half, um, cut the hard boiled egg lengthwise so you have a big surface area to work with. You don't want it too tall because you want to be able to stick it in your mouth when it has this everything in it. You know, if you make it too tall, um, people with small mouths won't be able to get in there. <laughs> All right, so there's the three right there. Next, you're going to do three slices of bacon and then some avocado. I just mashed it up so when I assembled this, it would go on easy. And I think I'm going to make an assembly line here. Um, that one. So three slices. It averaged out to be about 50 grams of, of um, avocado um, that I'm splitting with Kyle. Look at how cute that is. They're a little slippery. Make sure you're balanced. <laughs> so you can mix and match your toppings. A slice of tomato could make this like a BLT. Um, you could swap out your cheeses. You could leave the cheese out if you don't do dairy. Ah, I'm making a mess here. But either way, have fun with it. This last one is just not going to be pretty, so you don't judge. <laughs> and then I'm just going to divide this into the last little bit here. There's the cheese. Okay, and then all you're gonna do it do is top it with the other half of your egg. And look how cute that is. Yeah, it's I, we'll, we'll give me an F on actual present presentation here, but you get the point, right? Look how cute that is. And then so I free these for lunch, and I'll come back for the taste test in just a moment. And there you have it. That is my lunch today. How delicious does that look? Can't be any more keto than that. <laughs> All right, we'll see what the snack and then dinner. All right, look how yummy that is. Mm mm mm. Good. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we're going to have a chicken and cheesy cauliflower rice. So I've got a pound of Kirkland chicken tenders in here that I'm just pan frying um, to cook those through. I covered them and then I've diced up eight ounces of cauliflower florets and a bag of the Trader Joe's um, rice cauliflower. And here's the rest of the ingredients that are going to play. Um, basically heavy cream, salt, pepper, cream cheese, that kind of thing. So um, while my chicken was cooking, I, I'm just going to flip it so it's cooked through on both sides. And just to flavor it up, I'm going to put garlic powder on there with some salt and pepper. Um, don't be shy with the garlic. It kind of really works well with this dish. You can also use fresh. Um, I just find it was easier out of convenience to use powdered. But, um, and also salt and pepper it. And then that's just going to flavor it up while it's cooking. And that was probably a half teaspoon of salt and then a teaspoon of pepper. Um, salt it to taste, obviously. <laughs> um, I like, I'm not afraid of salt, especially pink salt. Um, but anyways, cover it back up. And then once it's cooked, 
remove it from the pan and use that same pan to cook up the rest. So I used approximately two tablespoons of avocado oil. Um, this is going to basically cook the broccoli. Um, maybe in the future I would steam the broccoli first to shorten the cooking time and then just brown it up in the pan. But um, either way, um, once the, the broccoli has come like pretty tender, you're going to add your rice cauliflower. And I put the rice cauliflower in the microwave for uh, four minutes first. So it's also cooked. And then we're going to spice it up by adding garlic powder and pink salt, pepper. And then also, this since this is a cheesy dish, we're going to add um, our cheese. But mix that all up and let that come together. And um, next you're going to take two, I, I went ahead and added four tablespoons of heavy cream. Um, once I cooked it and realized it was a little dry, I added an additional two more tablespoons of heavy cream. So even though it showed four right there, um, they, I truly did six tablespoons and then half of a block of cream cheese and the cream cheese, I guess, what does that translate to four ounces or so? Um, and then I did, um, one cup of Parmesan cheese and I use shredded cheese. It, you, any type of Parmesan will work, but you're basically at this point melting the cheese, melt the cheese and let it all come together. So taste it, see if it needs anything else. Um, as soon as the broccoli is, I'm sorry, as soon as the cream cheese is melted and the Parmesan is melted, it's pretty much done at that point. Um, you're just heating it up. Um, so everything's all good and melty and it, it kind of reminds me of like a fettuccine Alfredo type of a taste. Um, cause I love that, uh, like an Alfredo taste with the garlic cream and Parmesan cheese. So if you like that, you're really going to like this recipe, but Stir it around, um, let all of the cheeses come together and melt, and then once that's all set, give it a taste test. Sometimes it may need some more garlic, sometimes it may need some salt. Um, basically, just you know what you like and give it a good taste test. Okay, and once that's all ready, um, add your chicken. And again, you're just basically rewarming up that chicken. I diced up my chicken a little bit smaller from what it was when I pulled it out. Um, it, my kids like it better that way. So, and there's the finished product. You can see the rice cauliflower, the broccoli, the chicken, the cheese. It's so tasty. <laughs> Let's go to macros. Okay, so here are the macros today from my full day of eating keto. Um, lunch was super cute and super, um, tasty. However, it was more work than it's worth. <laughs> um, but it was a great way to just like keep things fresh and real. So three eggs, three slices of bacon, and then, oh, I forget to add my boars and cheese. Um, let me add that real quick. If you haven't tried boars and cheese, you are missing out. It's so good. All right. So boars and cheese, by nerves. There it is. So I had one, I had two tablespoons. I had measured it out. That's going to put me over my carbs today. <laughs> anyway, so there's my two tablespoons total. I spread a half avocado on those three eggs as well. I just mashed it up. And then I made a recipe for the Keto Rewind Chicken and Cheesy Cauliflower Rice. That made four servings of what I made. Um, so, And then obviously I put all the ingredients in here. I forgot to show you that I added additional two tablespoons of butter to that. Um, I remember I told you it was a little, it was a little dry. So, um, definitely, uh, make sure you add two tablespoons of butter if you make this, but anyways, that was, um, the dinner and I had one and a half servings of that. I don't know if you noticed how big my portion was, <laughs> but I was hungry and I had room in my cal my macros. So I went ahead one and a half tablespoons, I'm um, one and a half servings. Um, and obviously I had my, um, keto rewind coffee, which is heavy whipping cream, black coffee and unflavored collagen from Perfect Keto. And discount code down below, don't forget to check that out. And then while I came in from uh, the pool today, I had a serving of boar's head pepperoni as a snack. I know I didn't show it, I forgot. <laughs> but anyways, I'm a little over on carbs, but again, I'm not too worried. It was a lot of avocado. The, there's a lot of um, carbs in avocado, a lot of carbs in broccoli and cauliflower. So. Being that those are good sources of carbs, I'm totally not going to sweat that. But my overall day of eating was 21 of 19 total carbs. Um, then if it was net, I'd have been fine in net. But <laughs> um, my fat was a little higher today. It was a heavier dinner. Um, 
and 92 of 95 grams of protein and 1,457 calories. Now, after this um, full day of eating, I went and ran a mile and played at the playground. So overall, it was a great day of eating, tons of energy, and I'm happy. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Another full day of eating keto while tracking total carbs. I will see you back here tomorrow, same time, same place, for day two of this week. I'm Jess, you're watching Keto Refine. Bye-bye.